This guy is the person with the best academic ability in Korea. Because of the incident, his family was forced to leave their homeland and move to a strange place to live. Here he meets In Ha, a friend from his old school. From the day he encountered him, Taeo's life changed a lot. The two of them made a contract. Taeo relies on top academic performance to make In Ha the heir to Kango. This is the largest and most powerful corporation in Korea. In Ha will rely on his strength to help Taeo deal with those who stand in his way. Taeo leaves the city, he begins a new journey to Mizu. When you come to a new place, you definitely have to have a place to live. The homeowner is a old man, he just glanced at it and agreed right away. The two of them were wandering on the street when the third son of the Kango group passed by. That evening, at a villa, there was a lavish party taking place. Taeo stood in the distance, grimly watching everything happen. Suddenly his eyes fell on the master who was standing quietly upstairs. Taeo went everywhere looking for a job, but no place accepted high school students. Outside the door, he saw In Ha looking at him. Wherever he went, In Ha followed. In Ha reminds Taeo not to talk about his story. Whatever he does, just ignore it. Taeo doesn't care what the other person says. He said if you want to be famous, you should steal big things. How can you become famous if you steal small things, then leave directly? In Ha is boxing training. When he remembered what Taeo said, his face darkened with anger. Early the next morning Taeo started his first lesson. He's in the same class as In Ha. When teacher introduced Taeo's learning ability, all of his classmates gasped in surprise. At the new school In Ha constantly bullies Taeo. He doesn't seem happy no matter where Taeo sits. He even took a classmate's food tray and threw it at him. Taeo also can't stay still. He came back and declared war. Under the encouragement of their classmates, the two kings of the forest rushed to tear each other apart. While pondering how to write a review, a classmate called In Ha went home. In Ha is still proud that she is distinguished. Who would have thought that Taeo would also be released and sent home? Taeo receives a phone call. His face suddenly changed color and he immediately rushed to the gate to catch a taxi. In Ha arrives home. Standing from afar, I saw the garden party still going on happily. Inju had just broken a wine bottle at the far end of the glass. Everyone is congratulating him. Taeo went to the temple and also met his mother. It turns out that the call just now was from his cruel father. He threatened to kill his mother, so Taeo came here to tell her to leave this place. Only when he sees his mother leaving safely can Taeo feel secure and going home. Taeo brings his hatred to the self-defense classroom. Here he met In Ha again. When hearing that his classmate wanted to learn how to kill, In Ha, immediately expressed that she would teach him if Taeo could defeat him. The two entered the practice room. Because Taeo was not experienced and was constantly attacked by In Ha, Taeo was knocked down by his friend. His face became unsightly. Because this scene is very similar to when his mother and son were tortured by their cruel father. Taeo remembered that day and couldn't hold back his anger and beat In Ha until he screamed. Only then did Taeo realize that he had made a mistake. After having dinner together, In Ha took Taeo home. They still didn't dare to admit that they were friends. Early the next morning, when he went to school, there was a student who told the whole class that Taeo was the son of a murderer. In Ha directly defended him, saying that he was an illegitimate child. I don't even dare to call the person who gave birth to me dad. In Ha appeared to curse the other guy so that he couldn't get out of his face. Taeo didn't seem to care about that. He went to the rooftop alone to listen to music. In Ha also followed and alerted Taeo to his existence. In Ha moved forward and grabbed one of Taeo's headphones. Taeo didn't take any precautions and told In Ha that his father was being sent to prison and was about to be executed. Taeo suggests that the two of them become friends. He will satisfy all In Ha's requests. You help me learn how to kill people. In Ha felt that Taeo's words were very funny. Taeo plans to use his academic abilities to help In Ha get into a prestigious university. Then successfully turned In Ha into the successor at Kango Group. Just like that on this rooftop, the two of them successfully made a deal. After that day Taeo threw himself into work. From tutoring to worker, he never get bored of anything. That day, Taeo came home after work and met a beautiful girl. The two stood looking at each other for a while, then each went about their own business. Today is Taeo's birthday. In Ha specially celebrated his birthday. Make up for the gift Taeo gave him. In Ha gives him a one-on-one -on -one class. Taeo was constantly praised by his professor because his report was so excellent. The professor even offered to buy Taeo's report. But after a moment of consideration, Taeo decided to keep that expense for the future. The report is a new strength for Kango Group. Taeo is still engrossed in learning more about the Kango Corporation. When Hai Won saw Taeo ignoring him, she approached and asked him why he was trying to act like he didn't know each other. In Ha ran to invite Taeo to eat with him. In Ha reminds him to dress appropriately for Bai Soon Ji because first impressions are important. Taeo did not agree, 
so in Ha reluctantly forced his friend to follow her as best as he could. While eating, Hai Won walked over to attract In Ha's attention. As soon as he looked, he saw that his friend's eyes were very different today, as if he was in love. Taeo immediately changed the subject and made an excuse to slip away. Taeo goes to Hee Ju's house following Taeo's instructions, but this student kept talking nonsense and refused to learn anything. Taeo didn't care much and continued teaching. After teaching, Taeo went to meet Hee Ju's parents. He gave him a confidentiality agreement and made Taeo sign it. In Ha was already waiting at the door to welcome her friend home from work. The two of them had a drink. In Ha has feelings for Hai Won so he wants to ask Taeo to help him investigate her identity. Coming home, Taeo accidentally saw Hai Won's mother scolding her. Every time she comes to see Hai Won, it's just for money money money. Taeo in the house heard all of their conversation. A little later, when Taeo came out, Hai Won was nowhere to be found. Looking down, he saw her wandering alone. Seeing that it was raining, Taeo brought an umbrella to pick up his friend. By the way, would you like to have a beer with me? Hai Won knew he had seen and heard everything. But she hope he pretends to be blind and deaf so she will feel much more comfortable. According to what Taeo predicted, today In Ha received a contract to renounce inheritance rights. Listening to Taeo, In Ha directly signed the contract. In Ha finishes his business and comes to pick up Taeo after work. The two then bought a lot of food for the drinking room. Because of the lack of alcohol, In Ha was free to buy it. Here he met Hai Won. Just like that, the three of them had a small party together. As soon as In Ha entered the party, she continuously flirted with Hai Won. But it seemed like her gentle eyes were only for Taeo. Taeo seems to have paid more attention to this girl now. The two of them kept looking at each other. After the party Hai Won and Taeo took the bus home. Hai Won was still depressed so she invited Taeo to drink more with her. Hai Won said he wanted to bet with Taeo about whether In Ha was really a golden rope or just a rotten rope. Because after all, he is just an illegitimate child of the Kango group. In Ha returns to Taeo's house and wonders why. Taeo didn't say that he lived across from Hai Won's house. Taeo returned home and saw In Ha sitting at his house eating noodles. Taeo is still confused inside about Hai Won. Therefore, no matter what In Ha does, he doesn't care much. During the meal, Hiju asked her father to let In Ha come to home. Besides her, no other member wanted him to appear at Bishan Ji. The person who seemed most upset was the girl's mother. But the chairman is the one in power. He knew that his wife had forced In Ha to sign a document cancelling his inheritance. The president directly called In Ha to invite him to Bishan Ji for dinner. That made the lady angry and leave. Taeo knew that Chairman Moon was just being nice. He did it to punish In Ha's mother for stealing his initiative. In fact, Chairman Moon also wants to strip In Ha of his inheritance. Taeo tells In Ha to just play the innocent but not innocent role. Let everything else follow naturally. Chairman Moon threw the inheritance annulment in front of Lawyer Chu. Ask him if there's anything else I don't know? Chairman Moon reminded him not to betray his trust. He is planning to buy back the Minton Company. Minton will be a powerful weapon that will make Kango Group grow stronger than it is now. Attorney Chu will be responsible for managing Minton. Professor gives Seong Ju a plan for the future of Kango Group. Seong Ju was extremely excited about this plan. He told Professor Dong UK to resign and go to work at the corporation. In Ha takes Taeo to the school when he receives a call from his sister. She wanted In Ha to invite her to dinner as a thank you. Because she him go to Bishan Ji to have dinner with his father. He Ju was attentively drawing Taeo's vibrating leg when In Ha walked in. The two brothers were talking happily when Le Tan walked in. In Ha was extremely surprised because that person was Hai Won. When He Ju learned that Hai Won also knew Taeo, she immediately became grumpy. He Ju ordered the spicy black bean noodles. She told In Ha that when she saw Hai Won, she immediately had a bad impression. In Ha simply thinks it's because Hai Won is beautiful. In Ha took her sister to the car and promised they would see each other again this weekend. He felt a little guilty so he went back to the restaurant to find Hai Won. In Ha apologizes for her sister's childish actions. But Hai Won didn't pay attention to those things. Next, In Ha asked Hai Won to go on a date with her after work. Hai Won just replied that she didn't have time and that she had no trust in others and turned to leave. Taeo left work at the construction site and went to the bus to go home. In the car, he encountered Hai Won who was also up here. Saturday morning In Ha arrived at Bishan Ji as scheduled. As soon as he entered, he was ridiculed by his half-brother. He Ju, unable to bear the discontent, taught him a lesson. The woman appears and criticizes In Ha for causing all this trouble. In Ha also just stood still and listened without saying anything. After that, the brother said with satisfaction. Mrs. Jang also felt annoyed with In Ha. So she will definitely find a way to get you out of the party. In Ha has had enough of the criticism and humiliation and invites Taeo to go to the beach to talk. Taeo saw his friend's current appearance and could only shake his head in frustration. He won't allow In Ha to be so weak. According to his arrangement, Professor Dong UK and Seong Ju met. The two people's plan to enter Kango group has officially begun.
At the evening party in Ha leaves but no one cares. Only He Ju was angry and criticized He Ju for causing trouble, so In Ha left. She got angry and left her mother chasing right behind. Entering He Ju's room, she was slapped. The woman reminded He Ju to be careful with her actions because she was also 17 years old. The woman adjusted her clothes and walked out as if nothing had happened. He Ju left home with only a phone. She called Taeo for help. In her life, this seemed to be the first time she felt more free than ever. Taeo arrived and saw He Ju lying on the soccer field. He Ju told Taeo not to tell In Ha that she ran away from home, but her threat didn't work on Taeo. The two were having a sincere conversation when In Ha also came. Both are greeting when In Ha arrives. In Ha took Taeo and Hai won home. He Ju is dissatisfied when she learns that Hai won and Taeo live in the same area. Taeo went out to the rooftop and saw Hai won also standing there. He received a text message about his termination date. He went down to the convenience store to buy beer to relieve his sadness and met Hai won there. Hai won wondered where the two of them would be 10 years from now. Taeo reminds her to stop her fight and focus on In Ha. Early in the morning, Heeju woke up and received the news that she would have a new math tutor, she was very shocked. Heeju changes her schedule to not miss school anymore but will go to school. Halfway there, Heeju left the driver behind and took the car to school to find Taeo. Because Taeo left without saying goodbye, Heeju had to do that. At Taeo's school, Heeju officially confessed her love to him, but Taeo didn't care and immediately called the housekeeper to terminate the contract. Heeju was so tough in front of Taeo, but when she got in the car, she cried like crazy. Hai Won and Taeo meet at the library. Hai Won told him it seemed like he was too harsh towards her. Taeo told her not to worry about his problems, he could handle them herself. In Ha hid behind the curtains and heard the two people's conversation. In Ha was quite surprised and wondered what kind of person Hai Won was. Hai Won was about to leave school when she was held back by some gangsters. They arrested her because her mother stole 50 million won and ran away. Hai Won said without changing expression that she didn't have a mother and then left. The gangsters still followed without mercy. The leader was about to give Hai Won a slap and Taeo promptly came to stop him. They only left when they saw security coming. Before leaving, don't forget to say see you again soon. In Ha was playing basketball when she received news that the girls were looking for Hai Won. Hai Won over here saw In Ha's call but still didn't pick up. When he couldn't contact her, he suddenly ran to look for her everywhere. In Ha ran into the hallway and saw Hai Won standing inside. In Ha couldn't help but go forward and hug Hai Won in his arms and give her a kiss. Taeo came in and saw this scene and stood still. He slowly backed away and ran out of the classroom. Leaving behind two people still standing inside, hugging each other passionately. Taeo sat on the bus home with a very deluded feeling. Taeo ran home and saw Hai Won with her luggage. She said she would go to In Ha's house for a while. Hai Won blamed Taeo for not taking action. The two were nothing to each other. Taeo tried hard but the words still didn't come out of his lips. Taeo came home for a while and saw Hai Won knocking on the door. When he was about to leave, he received a phone call from In Ha. After hesitating for a while, he finally decided to pick up the phone. Fast forward five years later. This year is the year the Co-Prosperity Cooperation Center celebrates its fifth anniversary. Chairman Moon entered and was greeted respectfully by everyone. Taeo introduced himself to the board of directors as working in the Global Leadership Training Group. Chairman Moon was impressed with Taeo talent. Everyone went out, leaving Chairman Moon and Taeo to talk. Through just a few simple questions, the chairman grasped Taeo's weakness. He knew that Taeo had a murderous father. Heard that, his hands couldn't help but clenched tightly. His eyes became colder. Chairman Moon told Taeo that if he wanted to work for him, it was best to hide his true feelings. That was the first lesson before he entered the corporation to work. The official celebration took place, and Chairman Moon said that if he wanted the center to grow stronger, everyone in the center needed to turn themselves into a monster. Everyone was positive with his statement. Taeo predicts Professor Dong UK will be fired soon. Taeo came to meet Chairman Moon. Since today he officially works for Kango Group. Taeo's appearance made Chairman Moon's whole family feel obstacle. He is predicted to be the youngest chief secretary in history. Taeo came to meet Chairman Moon. Chairman Moon reminded about the royal project. A year ago, Chairman Moon wanted to build a big city on the west coast. A super project hundreds of times larger than Kango City. In Ha was in a tense meeting when he received news that the chairman had been released. Seong Ju was with Sun Dong going recreational shooting. But they did not know that every move of the two people was recorded by a young man. These three people meet each other. Taeo said that in five days at the Han MI party conference, Sun Dong will be appointed against the chairman's intention. This would open the door for attacks on the Royal Road project to come to naught. Han MI party conference officially begins. Sun Dong was elected party leader. This event went against Chairman Moon's plan, causing him to go crazy. According to Sang Su's plan to become leader, his plans will go smoothly. Chairman Moon ordered Taeo to find the person behind Sun Dong. 
He Ju was angry when she saw that Mrs. Zhang arranged a marriage contract for her without her knowledge. The person who will marry He Ju is Wei Chan. Mrs. Zhang was very pleased with the young man. He Ju asks mom if she really doesn't know about the trouble he caused in the United States. He Ju will never agree to this arranged marriage. If mom still forces He Ju, she will die for her to see. He Ju goes out to look at her phone and then hesitates thinking about Taeo. Hai Wan has gathered information that Seong Ju will push Sun Dong to the front and try to control the National Assembly, thereby promoting the Royal Road Project. When the project ends, they will charge Chairman Kong with the crime of embezzlement. At that time, the center will be separated from Kango Group. The purpose of Seong Ju is like that. He tries to steal Kango's core staff. Taeo wants to use Sun Dong to make the chairman get rid of Seong Ju. Seong Ju begins to manipulate lawyer Chu. They had a conversation. That will be evidence of corruption and breach of trust against Chairman Kong. Seong Ju promises to give lawyer Chu his own company instead of being a lie for Chairman Moon. This boy was able to hack into Seong Ju phone. Seong Ju is just pretending to promise lawyer Chu that he will respond to him. Lawyer Chu was manipulated and sent the USB evidence to Seong Ju. Taeo went to see Chairman Moon to report this to him. Mrs. Zhang encouraged her son to definitely become the head of Kango. Only then can they get everything they want. Lawyer Chu was immediately summoned by Chairman Moon. In Ha comes to pick up Hai Wan after work. In Ha wants the two to get married. Hai Wan said that until the day he proudly entered by Sun Ji, the two of them would get married. Those words made In Ha feel more motivated. Chairman Moon convened an urgent meeting of shareholders. Taeo gave each person a bag to keep their phones. Lawyer Chu guessed that Chairman Moon knew something. He wanted to call Seong Ju but his phone was confiscated. Chairman Moon is trying to change strategy to make the center his own. He called an emergency meeting. He suggested everyone to have an urgent meeting. Chairman Moon was confident in the ability of Seong Ju, so he entrusted the dying trading company to him to handle. When Seong Ju hears it, his face turns pale. One more thing, today the center will be split up. Taeo smiles upon seeing the plan to his liking. This decision of the chairman made Seong Ju unable to control himself. Chairman Moon, who was working in the laboratory, Mrs. Jang came over. She used a USB containing evidence of Mr. Moon's guilt to force him to return the cooperation center to her son. Because of that, Chairman Moon had a heart attack. Mrs. Jang looked at her husband's bottle of heart attack medicine rolling on the ground, then cruelly turned around and left. Taeo walked into the room and saw Chairman Moon lying on the ground and called 911. The news that Chairman Moon had a stroke was spread on websites. The Moon family is fighting each other because of this. Mrs. Jang knows it's her fault, but she still pretends to be a good person. Taeo followed the doctor's orders and invited everyone out so the chairman could rest. Even though her husband had just had a stroke, Mrs. Jang still forced He Ju to go on a blind date. Even if He Ju refused, she couldn't argue with what her mother said. He Ju wasn't much better. As soon as he got in the car, he revealed his true face. He Ju sees Taeo doing a good job and wishes he could become his person. He Ju's wife tells her husband to take advantage of He Ju to make Taeo his person. As soon as her words came out, her husband stopped her. Seong Ju was curious about the person who provided him with that anonymous information. When In Ha arrived at the hospital, she didn't go inside but called Taeo out to talk to him. Er. In Ha asked Taeo what this was all about. Taeo assures that everything is going extremely smoothly. As long as In Ha believes and waits patiently, it will be okay. He Ju then called Taeo to his house. He intended to use this house for Taeo to work for him. Taeo not only refused but also played tricks on He Ju. Taeo said that if he gave him everything Director Kong had, he would agree. He Ju could only watch Taeo leave. He sent people to monitor Taeo day and night. Taeo is definitely hiding something and he must find it. Taeo went to the hospital to meet Chairman Moon. It turns out that his stroke was just Taeo's plan. All of this is part of Taeo's plan. Chairman Moon asked who will benefit the most after this. Taeo cleverly said that the person who benefits the most is the Royal Road Project. Chairman Moon asked Taeo what reward he wanted. Taeo replied that as long as the president lends a helping hand during his most difficult times, that's enough. Chairman Moon told Taeo to bring out his last card. Taeo frankly pointed out that person was in Ha. You can use in Ha at any time. If you don't like it, you can throw it away and most importantly, he has nothing to do with the plotting. Chairman Moon heard this and told Taeo to bring in Ha to him immediately. Taeo received news that in Ha had disappeared. Looking up at the ceiling, you can see the projection roof showing a scene on the sea. Taeo quickly guessed where his friend was. In Ha stands on the sea recalling memories of her mother. As expected, Taeo went to the sea and saw In Ha standing there. In Ha saw Taeo approaching and chased him away. Taeo just said that Chairman Moon actually did not have a stroke. Suddenly Taeo was punched by In Ha. In Ha thinks that Taeo is deceiving and not trusting him by doing so. Taeo emphasized many times that he did it only because of In Ha. In Ha is the reason why he has to exist. 
Besides Inha, there is no one else. Hearing that, Inha's eyes softened somewhat. Taeo told Inha to go home. The chairman was looking for him. He Ju goes to the bar to meet her fiancé Wei Chan. He Ju came to remind me that I will definitely not marry him. This action would make Wei Chan want to marry her. He Ju stopped in front of Taeo's car. She only did that because she loved Taeo so much. Taeo ignored it and turned around. He Ju used her high heels to repeatedly hit the car, forcing Taeo to turn back. He wears heels for her. Taeo said that if he agreed to marry He Ju now, her whole family would consider him a scum who did everything just to marry He Ju. Taeo told He Ju to just live in her fairy tale world and not drag him into it. When He Ju heard these words from the person she loved, she couldn't hold back her tears. At any cost, she will have Taeo. Mrs. Jang was absent when Chairman Moon was sick. She took it upon herself to appoint Seong Ju as temporary president. Kango Group's shares suddenly plummeted. Because of this, Seong Ju received an urgent recovery order. In Ha goes to see Chairman Moon. Chairman Moon praised what he did. He asked In Ha to choose a gift for himself. He said that please accept me as Kango's person and that was enough. Chairman Moon gave In Ha a contract and told him to read it and sign it if he agreed. Mrs. Jang was cutting flowers in the garden when she heard Chairman Moon's voice. His appearance made both mother and daughter Jiang gasp, not believing it was true. Chairman Moon held a party inviting all family members. Prosecutor Myung Jin comes to meet Chairman Moon. He opened the USB that Taeo sent and took a look. Myung Jin's face darkened when he saw that inside was evidence of him accepting bribes. Chairman Moon walked into Lawyer Chu's office. As soon as he saw the president, Lawyer Chu immediately knelt down and apologized to him. As promised, In Ha was publicly announced as the third son of the Kango group. Seong Ju became crazy due to recent events. Whenever He Ju doesn't like something, she drags her subordinates out to fight. Taeo was promoted to department director by the president. After seeing her husband return, Mrs. Jang moved out to live. Motorbike Seong Ju came to meet his father with a blank face. Chairman Moon has resolved everything smoothly. Seong Ju's job is to live quietly. He couldn't force Seong Ju to not go see his mother. But if the two of you plan to do something, your status at the corporation will disappear forever. Seong Ju actually had in mind the idea of rebelling against his father. But plans are just plans. Seong Ju had no choice but to obey and go out. He Ju is at the clinic but learns that Taeo and In Ha used to be close friends. Chairman Moon intends to assign the business tasks to In Ha. He will use this income to realize his dream. Chairman Moon will bet everything and support Kong In Ha in this negotiation. Taeo came to find Officer Wang Du, the top spy of the reconnaissance department. He have a new mission to give him. At the beach In Ha once again proposed to his girlfriend. Unlike previous times, this time, Hai Wan agreed to be his wife. The two happily lit fireworks together on the beach. Early the next day, Taeo told In Ha about the first test. You have to do it smoothly and don't ask anyone for help. Only then will all your efforts be recognized by others. Wei Chan on this side begins to attack He Ju. Taeo and In Ha are discussing the upcoming path. Suddenly, two people arrived there who were teammates who would participate in this project with them. Taeo felt quite uncomfortable because In Ha didn't tell me before. Hai Wan was specially invited to lunch by Zhang Chul today. He used the fact that she knew In Ha to force Hai Wan to be his political secretary. Taeo's team worked all night long. Taeo looked at the couple ring on In Ha's hand a little thoughtfully. He Ju went to see Taeo but still didn't have the courage to step inside. Taeo and Hai Wan meet on the rooftop. Hai Wan talked about how she would cooperate with Zhang Chul even though she knew it was dangerous. Taeo looks at Hai Wan's ring and asks when they will get married. The two people's meeting was secretly photographed by someone. But when he got into the car, he chose to delete everything. That year, the person Hai Wan actually liked was Taeo, but he didn't take the initiative. It's true, if you have it, keep it, don't find it. The next day, Taeo and In Ha went to the company to receive news that Wei Chan would be leading Jia Zhang's negotiations. Taeo reassure In Ha, just follow the plan and you'll be fine. Whether or not a transaction is possible depends on the price offered by both sides. Before the meeting took place In Ha contacted Dong Miang. Very soon the meeting took place. Wei Chan discounted the product price by 30% but Inha still did not agree. Seeing the tense atmosphere, Taeo suggested that everyone would continue negotiations after 60 minutes. Inha sent a message to Dong Miang but was seen by Taeo. He met Dong Miang at the bathroom and told him to go home and I would take care of the rest. It turns out Inha intended to use it to spread false information to Dong. Taeo disagrees with my friend on this aisle. But Inha is still determined to do what she wants. YM started to act. Wei Chan's subordinates guess that YM is confronting them to buy time. The final outcome was that prices increased by 13% and workers were also given an earful by the chairman. In Ha saw this and took all the blame on himself. But because he was the president's son, he was forgiven. Chairman Moon said that if there is any legal problem, Taeo will be responsible. 
Chairman Moon finds himself and Inha too similar. Taeo suggests that if that's the case, he should tell Inha that directly. At the pub, Inju came to find Wei Chan. Wei Chan wants to ask him to help him reach his sister Heju. Inju is willing to do that if Wei Chan will help her with something. Taeo arrived at the basketball court and saw Inha there. Inha boasted that he had a dinner date with his father, which made him very happy. After Inha returned, Taeo stayed to play for a bit, but in the dark, someone was watching him. Taeo was suddenly attacked. He lay on the ground in so much pain that he couldn't hold the phone. That guy stole all of Taeo's money and then left. Hi One's phone calls. At this moment, many images of her suddenly appeared in Taeo's mind. Taeo really misses Hi One. Hai Wan entered the hospital looking for Taeo's silhouette everywhere. She approached Taeo who was lying with a very serious wound on his head. Taeo weakly pulled Hai Wan's hand. Like five years ago, he told her not to go and stay with him. In Ha is concentrating on talking to her father. Hai Wan stood outside the operating room and kept calling but he didn't pick up. Chairman Moon reminded his son if he wanted to continue being his son. Then remember not to go beyond the limit and listen to what he says, that's all. Chairman Moon saw that In Ha's phone kept ringing and told him to hang up. Inha panicked and told her father Taeo had been attacked by someone. Taeo's wallet is lying quietly in the trash. Hai Wan stood outside the operating room remembering what Taeo said. Before Inha went to the hospital, he ordered authorities not to let the police get involved. He doesn't want this to affect Kango Group. Chairman Moon coincidentally also had the same thoughts. During the meal, Heju learned that Taeo had an accident and immediately went to the hospital. Inju and Seongju suspect that the other is the one who caused Taeo's problem. Hai Wan stayed by Taeo's side all night. Taeo moved his hand slightly. Hai Wan can finally breathe a sigh of relief because Taeo has woken up. While preparing to go find the doctor, Taeo held Hai Wan's hand. At that moment, He Ju ran in screaming. In Ha also came over, happy that Taeo had woken up. The doctor came in to check, He Ju, who was standing to one side in shock because of her hand holding just now. Hai Wan excused herself to go out and call the doctor and then returned. She texted In Ha to inform her that she had an urgent matter and needed to go immediately. The president calls In Ha and tells him to explain to Taeo why the police are not involved. Next, the president called lawyer Chu and asked him to help him secretly investigate something. Hai Wan left but continued to monitor Taeo's situation. He Ju tells her brother to give up Hai Wan because she doesn't love him. In Ha was angry when she heard someone say that. But actually, he himself knows that the person Hai Wan has feelings for is Taeo, not him. Hai Wan went to work at the company but her mind was in the clouds. She panicked when she learned that In Ha was the one who prevented the police from investigating. Taeo woke up and saw In Ha sitting next to him. In Ha gets Taeo water and tells him he will be transferred to Kango Hospital tomorrow. This story will stop here and will never be mentioned again. Taeo is upset because someone is meddling in his personal matters. In Ha and the president were afraid of affecting their image, so they hid this attack. In Ha happily left and informed Taeo that she was getting married. Listening to these words is like judging someone with an equal hand. He unplugged the water transfer line and weakly crawled out of the room. Hai Wan sat in front of his desk constantly thinking about the Kong family. In Ha goes to the place where Taeo was secretly attacked. When he was about to touch the blood on the ground, he suddenly received a phone call from Hai Wan. On this side, Taeo escaped from the hospital to meet the President Moon. He wanted to know who attacked him. The chairman agreed as long as he did nothing to affect the Kango group. As soon as Taeo left, Chairman Moon immediately ordered someone to quickly find the person behind it. It must be found before Taeo finds it. Taeo walked haphazardly and had difficulty finding Wan's place. Wan asked Taeo, why did he risk his life to come here? Taeo did not hide it and said that he needed to find the person who attacked him that night. Hai Wan questions In Ha why he asked the police to stop the investigation. In Ha, like every other time, only replied that she was afraid of negative public opinion about her family. Hai Wan was disgusted to see In Ha being so indifferent to his friend. He should have been curious about who was behind this. After 10 years today, Hai Wan's mother returned to molest her daughter again. Hai Wan couldn't bear to pick up the broken wine bottle and threaten her. Many strange things made Hai Wan immediately helpless and burst into tears. In Ha saw Hai Wan coming home with a wound on her hand and hugged her to comfort her. Wan hacks into the cameras around the area where Taeo was attacked. After many efforts, the murderer's face was finally found. Taeo looked at the photo and immediately remembered that person was Inju's subordinate. Today is the day Hai Wan introduced himself to Inha's house. During the entire meal, no one said a word to anyone. As Chairman Moon turned around, Hai Wan also loudly introduced his name. Chairman Moon asks when Hai Wan will quit his job. Hai Wan's answer made the whole family angry. She doesn't want to give up her career. But how could Bai Sun Ji accept a daughter-in-law who knew everything about them like Hai Wan? Taeo recovered and was discharged from the hospital. He went to the dance hall to urgently find Inju's subordinates. Taeo told him to tell his master that he would take revenge on them. 
Taeo went out and saw Inju coming in. The subordinate even dared to look at him with provocative eyes. After finishing the story, Taeo went to find Hai Wan at his old house. In Taeo's heart, there has always been the image of Hai Wan, but he has never once had the courage to say it. He apologizes to Hai Wan for what happened in the past. It was only because of his cowardice that he lost her. The two kissed each other to answer. And this scene was captured by Inju's subordinates. Inju was pleased when she saw these images. Taeo had just entered the elevator when he received a text message. He received breaking news about Inju. Today is In Ha's wedding day. The beautiful bride Hai Wan walked down the aisle to the applause of the guests. Taeo stood coldly behind, observing without saying a word. Hai Wan sends a text message to In Ha telling him he will go up first. As soon as the elevator door opened, Inju threw a photo and told Hai Wan to pick it up. Inside is the scene where Hai Wan and Taeo kiss. Hai Wan could only obediently go inside. The next morning, Taeo woke up panicking with the weapon on his person, next to the Inju's body and his wife. Hai Wan is forced by He Ju to dial Taeo's phone number. Taeo now knows He Ju's secret as a witch. When he received a phone call from her, he was often in danger. He did not hesitate to run to Inju's place. Inju sat in the bar and brought out a photo of Hai Wan kissed him to threaten him. But Taeo knows all the evidence of Inju's crime, which makes money illegally through manipulation of votes and accounting fraud. If the investment fails, it will lead to a lot of corruption. Guess who will make the president angrier about Inju's sins or Taeo? Of course, Inju plotted a dirty plan and refused to lose. Because he knew Taeo loved Hai Wan to death, he used this method to force Taeo to listen to him. Otherwise Hai Wan will turn into his woman. How could Taeo let this terrible thing happen? He can lower his ego to kneel in front of Inju. Inu happily ordered someone to bring out the flower. Suddenly the atmosphere became dim. After Inju and his woman finished smoking, they couldn't see anything exactly anymore. Taeo also seemed to be influenced by the atmosphere. He fell directly to the ground unconscious. The next morning Taeo slowly woke up with the most pain in his body. He was shocked because there were blood stains on his body and the weapon in his hand. Taeo turned around and was even more shocked to see Inju sitting against the pillar. Taeo fell to the ground and didn't remember anything that happened. Seong Ju was exercising when he received news that his brother had passed away. The media also quickly updated the news that Inju, the eldest son of the Kango group, had just passed away at the age of 30. They suspected that Taeo was the one behind it all, because he was the only one at the crime scene when Inju died. In Ha told his wife to stay home and wait for news of him going to see what the situation was like. In Ha is always sure that Taeo won't do anything like that, so please rest assured. Taeo is interrogating to get a statement. In fact, In Ha meet his father first. Chairman Moon ordered his son to block all media so they could report the news as quietly as possible. Taeo here doesn't remember anything when he woke up and found himself in the royal room of the hotel with the two victims. But the royal room is only for corporate people and has no cameras, surveillance or security equipment at all. The police told him to remember quickly or it would have a bad effect on him. According to test results, Taeo's blood also contained drugs. That night, Inju himself dropped a white powder into Taeo's wine and forced him to drink it all. The police officer lifted up Taeo's wrist and saw a bruise. That's right, how could he remember anything if he was on drugs? Taeo sat in his cell recalling little by little the events that happened that night. First he went to the bar, then he drank alcohol, it was all like a mess dancing in his head. The news reported that Han was dismissed for embezzlement and corruption causing damage to the company. That's why Han murdered the chairman's eldest son. As soon as the news was given, In Ha immediately received a scolding call from her father. Didn't you say to clean up as neatly as possible? Why are you spreading lies like this? Or did In Ha already know all this? In Ha could only say sorry but didn't know what else to say. Wan saw that the situation was gradually becoming out of control. He asked his friend to get a passport and if anything goes wrong, he would leave Korea immediately. As soon as In Ha got home, he was suddenly questioned. She felt that the media reported the news incorrectly. Hai Wan suspects that the person behind this news is Chairman Moon. In Ha doesn't understand why things have come to this point but Hai Wan is still defending Taeo. Shouldn't he have to choose between his friends and his biological family? In Ha reminds Hai Wan to delete everything related to Taeo and focus only on this family. Don't let it get to the point where you get angry and it leads to bad results. Today is the day of Taeo's first trial. The first person to testify was Inju's subordinate. He only took everyone to the hotel gate because Inju wouldn't let them in. Taeo was stunned when the other person said that the idea of organizing the second birthday party was his. All testimony now is detrimental to Taeo. That night while he was in the prison thinking, the warden approached and called him away. Going to an empty room, he saw In Ha waiting for him there. In Ha told Taeo that if he was planning on saying sorry, 
stop immediately because he was tired of hearing those two words. In Ha blamed him for ruining everything they were trying for every day. No matter how you explain it now, it's useless. Today In Ha came here to say goodbye to Taeo. Taeo wondered why In Ha didn't ask him why he did that but just turned away for no reason. The next morning the second trial took place. Ji Jun continued to be the one whose testimony was taken. He said that he prepared a lot of things that night so he didn't know there were drugs in them. As for whether Taeo often uses soft drinks, he doesn't know because the two are not that close. Every sentence and every word of Ji Jun was like an invisible accusation against Taeo. Chairman Moon orders lawyer Chu to investigate more closely about Ji Jun's personality. Ji Jun is the key to this case. Taeo and his teammates are exercising in the yard under the supervision of the warden. Taeo raised his face to look at the sun and the image of a yellow lamp kept appearing in his eyes. Taeo fell to the ground. He vaguely remembered that another person appeared at the scene that night. He was taken to the medical room. Taeo was touching the phone and preparing to answer the call when the doctor came in. She will prescribe supplements for Taeo and tell him not to fast and be strong enough to fight. Taeo was surprised why the other person said that to him. She was even kind enough to lend him her phone. Hai Won was sleeping with her husband when she received a phone call from Taeo. Hai Won sneaks out with her husband to answer the phone. Taeo said that he really didn't remember doing such things. The prison guard walked with Taeo in the hallway. He found out about Taeo trying to call someone. If he finds out who you called, it will be very troublesome, so it's best to transfer the money quickly. The next morning, In Ha's first thing at work was to have someone clean Taeo's room. Hai Won then goes to meet Wan. Wan refused and said he wouldn't care if he received a huge bag of money. Hai Wan asked Wan if he was the one who attacked He Ju. If not, then when you come to meet Taeo, remember to prepare a luxurious room because there are security cameras everywhere recording the conversation. Taeo went to the medical room to call Hai Wan. Hai Wan did as he said and she also believed that he was not the one who did these things. Those words served as motivation for Taeo to fight harder. Hai Won hung up the phone and turned around to see her husband standing behind her. In Ha hugs Hai Won in his arms and says that he misses her very much because they have been so far apart. Please stand still and let me hug you for 5 minutes. Early the next morning, Won pretended to be a lawyer and came to find Taeo. Won blames Taeo for seeing that he worked so hard to get here but his attitude is like this. From now on, don't call me anymore. Especially Hai Won, don't tell her to show up again. Won was about to leave when Taeo called out. He wanted to ask Won to investigate Ji Jun for him. He was the key point of this incident. Saying that, Taeo turned around and left, leaving Wan alone and upset. The third case ended and Taeo was sentenced to death. Lawyer Chu quickly found out Ji Jun's identity. He went to the same school as In Ha and entered the company thanks to Inju's help. Chairman Moon thinks maybe to repay Inju's favor, Ji Jun was behind this incident? Chairman Moon feels that something is wrong, so Lawyer Chu should go investigate further as soon as possible. Wan quickly found Ji Jun's identity. He arrived at the building displayed on the computer screen. As soon as he stepped into the elevator, he saw In Ha was also there. In Ha already pressed the fifth floor elevator. Wan pressed the sixth floor. Wan brought the documents he had investigated to find Taeo. Ji Jun's mother passed away in a car accident. The driver of the car fled the scene after committing the crime. Ji Jun and In Ha have actually known each other since they were in seventh grade. Both have lived in the same building since childhood. It turns out that In Ha is the one behind it all including Ji Jun's testimony in court, which was all arranged by him. Taeo is shocked to hear that. When Chairman Moon heard the news that Taeo had been sentenced to death, he could not stand. Taeo was taken to another prison. As soon as he entered the prison, everyone in the group of former prisoners was surprised by the red card on Taeo's chest. The big brother with a superhuman memory even remembered that he was a student at a Korean university. Did an excellent student like you turn into a murderer? Taeo didn't say a word and quietly went to a corner and sat down. Before the second trial took place, In Ha met with the Kango group's personal lawyer. In any case, he wants Taeo to definitely receive the death penalty. In Ha burned the photos of his wife and Taeo kissing. I hope that when this photo burns out, that's when their love will fall apart. Just thinking about his wife sleeping with another man makes In Ha unable to calm down. Hai Won walked in. In Ha grabbed his wife tightly and kissed her passionately. Hai Won struggled to escape her husband's grip. In Ha seemed crazy and pushed Hai Won into the bathtub. He torments Hai Won and then tells him why he chose her. He is so crazy only because Taeo desires this woman. Whatever Taeo has, he must have as well. Hai Won looked scared while sitting in the water tank. Unexpectedly, the man who did everything for him was just jealous of his friend. In Ha changed clothes and left the house. Hai Won visits Taeo in the new prison. She tells him to take good care of himself. Taeo also realizes that if he can't take care of himself, how can he take care of anyone else? Hai Won followed Taeo's words to meet Chairman Moon. She wants to apply to work at an art workshop organization. As he predicted, this organization is Kango's present. 
All prisoners are gathering in the prison's common yard. The manager asked Taeo what he needed from him. Taeo coldly said he didn't need him, what he needed was a phone. Even though the department head was so angry, he couldn't cut out Taeo's tongue. Since coming back from meeting Taeo, Hai Wan's eyes have become somewhat sharper. The department head opened the floor and pulled out three phones. Taeo said he needed four of them and their charger too. This move made Taeo score points in the eyes of his roommate as a quite smart person. In Ha investigates the identity of the female doctor in prison as a heavy drug addict. At this moment, the president called and told In Ha to bring his wife and children over for dinner this weekend. In Ha was a bit hesitant when he heard these words. Taeo is cleaning up in prison. He secretly hid in a corner and kept his phone in a brick hole. The prison guard appeared and called Taeo to go and someone came to see him. Taeo was stunned to learn that person was his mother. Taeo's mother traveled a very long way to meet her son but was rejected by him. She seemed quiet when she saw her son in this situation. Taeo regretfully ran back to look for his mother, but she was gone. Taeo's mother cried a lot. Taeo sat quietly in the cell when he spotted a very familiar look. He remembered that Night Ji Jun was not actually the one driving the car. Staff are delivering food to each cell. As soon as Taeo's hand reached into Taeo's room, he pulled him back. Wan gave up his chance to flee abroad because of Taeo. While he was lost in thought, a strange phone number called. Taeo said that he remembered that that night Ji Jun was not the one who took him to the hotel. Taeo asked Wan to help him find the identity of the driver that night. In Ha entered the room and told Hai Wan that his father invited him to his house for dinner. Hai Wan asked him again if dad invited him to the house for dinner. In Ha heard that Hai Wan was mocking her. The bruises caused by In Ha are still imprinted on Hai Wan's neck. Hong Gyu was busy cleaning the rearview mirror when Wan appeared behind him. Hong Gyu was discovered to be related to the name Ji Jun. In Ha received a phone call from Ji Jun but the person on the other end of the line was Wan. Wan threatened that if he didn't let go, Ji Jun would disappear. In a bar, Ji Jun just killed his junior. Just as he was washing his hands and leaving, In Ha arrived. In Ha orders him to attack Taeo like this. Before going to her husband's house for dinner, Hai Wan went to see Taeo. Hai Wan took off the scarf around her neck to reveal bruises. In Ha already knows everything between the two of them, so now there are only two people left in the same boat. Taeo felt very sad when he sees that. He promised that as long as she believed in him, he would make her the next owner of Kango. At home, In Ha discovered Hai Wan coming to look for Taeo. During that dinner, Chairman Moon announced that Hai Wan was the foundation's planning director. No one in the family understood why the president made such a bold decision. In Ha was the husband and didn't know this. Hai Wan explains that she did it because she wanted to have a place in the family. Since the day he went to prison, Taeo has not had a full day of sleep. Tonight, too, while I was taking a nap, someone came looking for me. The uncle in the room had a bad feeling. Who else would come tonight? In Ha here comes to Wan. In Ha knows the opponent's background very well. He announces that Taeo has passed away, so Wan doesn't need to try anymore. Just as he was about to take action against Wan, In Ha received a phone call. Really quick news from prison Taeo escaped from prison last night. Hai Wan came to find Wan, but at this time he was being guarded by In Ha so he couldn't speak up. Wan was forced to find Taeo's address by having a gun pointed at his head. He easily snatched the gun back and cursed his friend T. Pa Lo for being stupid. The two of you will split the money in Ha pays for this case equally, so don't pull out your gun so arbitrarily from now on. He Ju still secretly followed Taeo. Knowing that he had escaped, she immediately asked someone to help her find his whereabouts. Seong Ju wants to get rid of In Ha, but his mother says there's no rush. She has already handled the problems behind the scenes to pull shareholders to her side, so you don't need to worry. Hai Wan threw the money hungry mother a large wad of money. If tomorrow she can find someone for her who specializes in finding people, she will receive double this amount. She immediately agreed. Because she was afraid that he Ju would do something shady, she called In Ha to inform. In Ha looked at his wife with sharp eyes. Taeo woke up completely stinking. He just had a strange dream. In his dream, he saw In Ha appearing at the crime scene that night. Chairman Moon has entered the room. Taeo was beaten unconscious by someone and it was Chairman Moon who saved him here. Hai Wan receives a phone call from her cruel mother who invites her to a river. Here Hai Wan meets Ji Jun. Before even saying the second word, He Ju covered Hai Wan's mouth and forced her into the car. Hai Wan woke up to find her body lying on the bed. In Ha said, stop trying to struggle in vain, you won't be able to escape. Hai Wan absolutely hates this prison-like life and wants to escape from his grasp. Chairman Moon called his personal doctor to visit Taeo. Taeo asked why the chairman helped him. Chairman Moon knows why Taeo entrusted In Ha to him. Chairman Moon told Taeo to remove In Ha from Kango and he would help him get back everything he had lost. In Ha comes to find Sa Jin to talk about cutting Kango in half. At first he thought he was crazy. If Sa Jin helps In Ha agrees to give him half of Kango, including the construction of the food factory. 
Taeo called Hai Wan many times but could not reach her. Hai Wan on this side is still tied tightly to the bed, unable to move. Taeo sitting here is remembering the days when he and Inha first met. Weren't the two of you once very happy together? Then came the days when Inha officially turned her back on her friend. Hai Wan woke up to find Inha standing in front of her. Inha wants to turn her into a second Taeo to do everything for him. Hai Wan didn't know whether it was a joke or not but obediently nodded. Hai Wan with a blank face was taken out of the mental hospital by In Ha. Taeo guessed that In Ha's next plan was that he was probably taking advantage of Hai Wan to embezzle public funds. He wants Chairman Moon to stop this matter quickly before it's too late. Wan was still rummaging through the cut seeds looking for Taeo. Chairman Moon pulled Hai Wan towards him. Wan begins to investigate each officer around the prison that night. He discovered that lawyer Chu was the one who took Taeo away. Taeo wants Chairman Moon to cut Kango himself. He had to pull Sa Jin to his side first. Chairman Moon initially didn't find it feasible at all, but Taeo assured him he would bring it all back. In Ha meet the doctor. In Ha was curious why he was still here at this hour. He went up to the chairman's room to see what was going on. Taeo in the room heard the noise and slowly came out to see what was going on. Through the reflection of the mirror he saw In Ha standing outside. Chairman Moon appeared to relieve the siege, causing In Ha to obediently leave with Director In. A moment later, the chairman received news that In Ha seemed to know something. Taeo urged the chairman to contact Sa Jin tonight to speed up the process. In Ha had just returned home when she received news that Taeo was in the chairman's building. He Ju hired a private detective and quickly found Taeo's whereabouts. Chairman Moon arranged to meet Sa Jin that night. Sa Jin says I need a shield, not power. Chairman Moon emphasized that tomorrow will be the day In Ha leaves the family. So are you still stubborn? Sa Jin's expression was a bit shaken when he heard this. He Ju entered the room on the 151st floor but Taeo had just left. When entering the private room, He Ju was extremely frightened. Chairman Moon is floating in the bathtub. Taeo opened the door and entered the room where the murder occurred. Taeo looked around and remembered that night the girl recorded everything. Turned back to Chairman Moon who is lying in the bathtub drinking wine. While Chairman Moon was still sipping a glass of wine, In Ha voluntarily entered the room. He announced that at 9 o'clock In Ha would be fired from Kango Group. In Ha doesn't understand why all her hard work and efforts are ignored by the chairman. The chairman blames In Ha for killing his brother. In Ha's words gave him a heart attack. Chairman Moon falls in the bathtub and reaches out to In Ha, begging him to save him. But In Ha did nothing. He ignored the chairman's words and left his face in the cold bathtub. He Ju appeared to take Chairman Moon to the hospital. The entire Kong family was present at the hospital. Only In Ha was nowhere to be seen. After a period of emergency treatment, the doctor came out to announce that Chairman Moon's situation is not very good right now. Because he didn't take heart medicine on time, everything is very difficult to talk about. Taeo returned to Chairman Moon's room to look at everything. In Ha here seems to have discovered something. He drove quickly to the building but when he got inside, he didn't see anyone. In Ha goes around the house looking for Taeo's whereabouts. Taeo has now gone to meet Prosecutor Ha. He said that little by little the story of that night was recorded by Bo Na. This is the clue that helps Prosecutor Ha regain his career. This is an opportunity for Prosecutor to return to Seoul. Prosecutor feels very confused about this issue. Should or should not do this. Wan this side also knew about Taeo going to see Prosecutor. But instead of calling in Ha, he chose to delete all the data. Chairman Moon is still unconscious, hasn't regained consciousness yet. Prosecutor Ha handcuffed Taeo to the car while he went into the office to scroll through the video. He rummaged through the database and found Bo Na's evidence. Indeed, inside there was a phone. Prosecutor Ha stuffed it into his pocket and then went out to the car. It was very difficult for the phone to turn on, but it didn't have a new password. Prosecutor Ha brought the phone to the shop and successfully broke the lock. But when he opened it, there was no image data left in the device. Prosecutor Ha gave the phone to Taeo. Taeo opened the video section hidden in a corner and finally found what he was looking for. In the video, a man in black appears and gives Taeo a dose in the neck. Then he took action against In Ju. Bo Na tries to run away, but In Ha stops her. He stabs her in the abdomen. Taeo has the evidence in his hand and feels that okay. Prosecutor Ha followed Taeo's instructions and brought evidence to ask for his help. Because of this, the head of the department allowed Prosecutor Ha to return to Seoul to work. Taeo went to the police station and confessed to the surprise of many people. Prosecutor Ha sent someone to the building where Ji Jun works. He was arrested for the murder of Inju and Bo Na. Ji Jun was still surprised and didn't understand what was being dragged away. Ji Jun looked at In Ha upstairs with eyes asking for help. But what he received in return was In Ha's anger. Chairman Moon seemed to have foreseen everything. Before he got sick, he ordered lawyer Chu to help Taeo no matter the situation. In Ha comes to see Sa Jin. He wants to confirm whether Sa Jin is on his side. Sa Jin stiffly said that as long as Chairman Moon is still alive, 
Inha will not be able to do anything. Once he wakes up, Inha will also be kicked away at any time. Hai Wan decides to move out to escape Inha's rule. Ji Jun was taken into the testimony room. From beginning to end, he admitted that he was the person behind everything. He attacked in Ju because he had previously tortured him like a puppy. Mrs. Jang began to manipulate each person in the company's shareholders. Now there is no one left who can take over for Kango. She proposed that her son Seong Ju take power. Taeo in prison can finally smile brightly. Tomorrow is the day Big Brother will be released from prison, so Taeo invites Big Brother to have a drink with him. The two of them made a bet to see who would hold Kango in the future. Hai Won went to find the Big Brother who had just confessed. She assigned him to transform into Michael Chong, a 53-year-old American citizen. He was very surprised when I read this new biography of mine. Previously, Taeo founded a company called Gold Heart Investment, so now Michael Chong will be the name of that company. Gold Heart Investments shares suddenly increased dramatically. In Ha sent someone to investigate to see who was behind it. At today's court appearance, lawyer Chu will be Taeo's personal lawyer. With his help, Taeo was finally acquitted by the court. In Ha loses his composure upon hearing this news. He let people follow Taeo 24-7. In Ha brought a heart of hatred to find her unconscious father. He apologized to Chairman Moon because he could not let him continue to live. In Ha was about to take out Chairman Moon's ventilator when he was stopped by an arm. In Ha was dragged to the rooftop by Taeo. Taeo emphasizes that from today he will officially become In Ha's rival. In Ha couldn't believe that in his ears, a person without any blood would want to be famous for a corporation. Taeo clearly replied that it wasn't important. The most important thing is to have a dream and dare to do it. Ji Jun was lying naked in prison, unable to sleep, when the warden walked in. Ji Jun was taken by the prison guard to the phone that was ringing non-stop. He breathed in relief when he heard In Ha's voice on the other side. In Ha lied that she was busy with a lot of work these days so she couldn't pay attention to him. But everyone knows that's just his reason. Ji Jun said that in prison he was bullied a lot and that it was only a matter of time before he received the death penalty. The story of Gold Heart Investment has attracted the attention of many people, including Seong Ju. He sent an invitation to meet the head of this company. Mrs. Jang talked on the phone with her son. They want to pull Gold Heart Investment to their side. Seong Ju said he can do it. He said Kango Group will belong to him. On this side, Sa Jin also stood behind urging In Ha. He reminded him that if he didn't act quickly, he would throw him away at any time. Seong Ju at the invitation of Gold Heart Investment Company, arrived at the meeting point. It was by chance and surprise that In Ha was also scheduled to come here. In Ha proudly officially declared war for the presidency with Seong Ju. While the two were still looking at each other with colorful eyes, the door opened. Taeo walked in and introduced himself as co-director of Gold Heart Investment, because in order to save all three of their time, Taeo made an appointment for both parties to come here. The meeting ended Taeo was about to drive away when he was stopped by In Ha. In Ha asks why Taeo did that. Taeo said everything is going according to his plan. He drove away, leaving In Ha alone with her wet hatred. In Ha suddenly received a call from her sister-in-law. She intentionally gave him a painting. Before leaving, he reminded him that the meaning of this painting is coordination. In Ha looked at the picture and kept thinking about the three words of combination. That night he went home to eat with his family. Unexpectedly, Taeo was also present at this meal. The three of them shared a glass without anyone noticing that Inha was also raising a glass of wine. Inha feels like everything is against him. Taeo was pleased to see Inha leaving angrily. Inha drinks beer alone at home. He remembered the happy times the two of them had. Didn't they both have the same dream? Inha suddenly remembered the alcoholic father who often beat Taeo's wife. On this side, prisoner number 301 was suddenly temporarily released. Before leaving, he was given a phone and a file of documents. As soon as he left the prison gate, he turned on his phone and saw a text message. Seeing a photo of his wife, he smiled so strangely. Ji Suk had just seen her ex-husband at Pagoda was so scared. He was the one who tried to kill her and now he still dares to come back here. Ji Suk moved backward down the stairs to avoid the stretcher managing husband. Suddenly she slipped and fell down, bleeding profusely. The husband saw his wife like that and had no intention of saving her but immediately turned around and left. Seong Ju is preparing to go to the group's press conference. Suddenly a group of police officers advance. Mrs. Jang was arrested for intentionally disposing of the body, bribery and embezzlement. She was put into the car with a foolish look on her face. On this side, the time for the press conference has passed a long time and the main character still hasn't appeared. In Ha then walked into the surprise of many people. It turned out that he was the one who gave evidence against his mother. In Ha apologized to everyone about his family's recent scandal. He asked permission to appoint himself as the temporary president of Kango. He refused all questions from reporters. All attention is focused on In Ha. The fact that he officially becomes chairman is just a matter of time. When Taeo received a photo of his stepfather being released from prison, 
His eyes immediately changed color. Taeo drove while thinking about his stepfather's threats. I wonder what cruel things he has done now. He Ju here came to find In Ha and blamed him for holding a press conference right now. In Ha initially acted as a good guy, saying that they were He Ju brothers, so they should listen to what their brother said. But when saw her attitude, he immediately turned her cards over. Now he is about to climb to the chairman's seat and no one can stop him. He Ju couldn't talk to this crazy brother for another moment. Mrs. Jang was arrested. All the shareholders simultaneously turned around. Seong Ju was helpless. In Ha came to find Seong Ju and said that he saved his press conference. Seong Ju's car can't stand this hypocritical face anymore. In Ha was punched and fell down. Seong Ju was angry. Why did this career fall into the hands of an illegitimate son? Taeo here came to claim his mother's body, not daring to believe this was true. Taeo reminisces about the times he spent with his mother. Taeo's newly healed heart was once again torn apart by the passing of his mother. In Ha and the commissioner had the opportunity to meet. Taeo sat in the ceremony room, absent-mindedly thinking about the day when the corpse was released. Suddenly, Seong Ju's car came to visit. They both lost their mother, he suspects it was done by the same person. Taeo stood in front of his mother's final resting place. Hai Won slowly appeared behind to comfort two people who shared the same fate. No matter what happened, she hoped Taeo would be cheerful again soon. Hai Won gave Taeo the letter his mother left behind. She hopes Taeo will stop holding grudges in the future and forget the past later. Remember to move forward and live well because that is my mother's wish. Taeo went to the house where mother and son used to live. He thought to himself that he didn't know why he was trying to get to this day. Since he was just a small grain of sand, he now has a place in Kango. Taeo returned to his room and placed his mother's photo on the shelf. Taeo decided to take down all the pictures on the door. Afterwards, Taeo went to meet the chairman and promised that he would protect the umbrella at all costs. Chairman Moon also seemed to hear that. His tears fell down his sunny face. Seong Ju came to visit his mother. He shared that he was fed up with the competitive life he has now. From childhood to adulthood, he never had a happy day. Mrs. Jang was finally moved by her son's words. On the group's side, everyone was holding umbrellas and happily enjoying the moment before the election before the chairman. The board of shareholders soon filled the auditorium. In Ha and two fortresses are in the elevator. His dream is about to become reality. Sa Jin met his daughter before coming to the corporation. His daughter has lived in poverty for so long. She has been subjected to In Ha's bullying all this time. Sa Jin sighed and then promised himself that he would fulfill his responsibilities as a father before it was too late. In Ha smiled and explained that all his wishes were about to come true. As soon as the door opened, he received an urgent arrest warrant. He was arrested for harming Ji Jun and Inju. In Ha struggled to resist. Taeo also appeared at this time with a cold face. In Ha is taken to the interrogation room. At first he was still extremely overbearing, thinking he did nothing wrong. That day when In Ha sent someone to harm Ji Jun in the prison yard, it was Sa Jin's daughter who discovered and saved him. Taeo received the phone call and went to the hospital room to visit Ji Jun. It was he who reminded Ji Jun to think about who was the one who harmed him like this. Taeo promises he will help Ji Jun live a life of his own. Ji Jun momentarily did not dare to believe that the person he trusted the most would attack him. Ji Jun grabbed In Ha's neck and blamed him for treating him like that. Up to this moment, In Ha still stubbornly believes that he is right. This is the price Ji Jun has to pay for not trusting him. Taeo was in the room looking at the university graduation photo of three people. Haven't they been very close and happy together in the past? At the hospital, Chairman Moon is showing signs of not breathing. The team of doctors quickly provided first aid. In Ha locked in prison receives a letter from Kong Miu. The content of the letter stated that he had been expelled from the Kong family to the Beak family. In Ha laughed and cried, not knowing what effect her efforts had been making for so long. Taeo went to Bai Sun Ji at He Ju's invitation. As soon as he entered, he was surprised to see that Chairman Moon had regained consciousness. Taeo and Hai won attend In Ha's trial. For the crimes he committed, In Ha was sentenced to life in prison by the court. Taeo went to visit In Ha in prison and asked why In Ha treated him like that. In Ha doesn't know why, it's probably because he simply wanted to. Taeo has no reason to stay here anymore. In Ha called back to Taeo as he was about to leave. He wanted to say something but didn't have the courage. The past time has been a bit stressful. He Ju asks her brother to take care of her father who is going on a trip for a while. After Taeo returned, he asked Hai Won to go drink beer with him. Both felt extremely admired the other for always trying to move forward without giving up. In prison, In Ha was filled with guilt and chose to end her life. Three years later, Chairman Moon's dream finally came true. It turned out that the president called Taeo over that day to talk about this. Because of the Kango group, Taeo lost his lover's family. So you deserve to be the new owner of the 151 building. Now everyone has their own life. He Ju enjoys an around-the-world vacation alone.
TAEO also allows Juan to stop all work and enjoy life. When TAEO became president, the first thing he did was establish a $2 fund. Finally, under his tireless efforts, he climbed to a position that no one could have expected. Okay, this is the end of the movie. Please take 3 seconds to subscribe to the channel to support us. Today's episode ends here. Thank you for watching. Now I say goodbye and see you again.